Hi, uh, on this sheet here, uh, Anya had already decided to increase um, or to decrease increase prices uh, if they were above five euros but at this point she's looking at her prices and thinking actually some of them are a bit high so she's decided that anything that is greater than 14 euros is going to be decreased by 15 percent so we're now looking at these new prices here and anything that's greater than 14 is going to get decreased so in here uh, we're going to put in an if statement so we'll click on the fx find your if statement and click on ok so our test is going to be uh, d2 is greater than 14 that's our test okay uh, and what percentage do we want to show um, then we're going to get a 15 percent so put in 15 percent okay if it's greater than 14 it's going to come down by 15 otherwise zero uh, and okay and we drag it down and let's take a look so all of these this one here is greater than uh, 14 euros so it gets 15 percent this one is here and again, the whole way along, that's working beautifully. Now we need to, to do the maths. So this one is going to be D2 multiplied by uh, one. One is 100%. And often if you see in a formula, you see a one that often represents 100%. So it's going to be 100% minus whatever the discount is. Okay. And we need to put it in brackets because that's the BEDMAS or the BIMDAS rule um, to make sure that it doesn't do the subtraction. It does the subtraction first and then does the multiplication. That's why we use the brackets. So we put in the formula equals D2 multiply by which is your star bracket one minus the discount percent and close your bracket and press enter. OK, so this one here didn't get discounted. That's fine. We have to drag it down then. And the ones that do need the discounting, you can see this is 15 percent and it's gone down from 1580 down to 1345. OK, and so anything that isn't less than 14 uh, did get discounted.